If you've tried to buy a Class B RV on the 2019 Sprinter chassis, you know they are in short supply. Amazon bought up tens of thousands of them, and RV manufacturers are unable to meet the demand. Except for this company. How is it that they seemingly have all the new Sprinters they need? We'll find out why as we tour the Rev Group factory in Elkhart, Indiana. We're in Elkhart, Indiana again, the RV capital of the world, and this is the headquarters of the Rev Group. Now, the Rev Group is uh, really making a name for itself in the, uh, in the RV industry, particularly for vans uh, built on the Mercedes Sprinter and the Dodge Promaster chassis. It's, it's a big company that's getting bigger. They have so many different brands you just can't believe it, and they're known for the quality. Quality of the build and the quality of the materials that they put into that build. We're going to take you on a great tour and you're going to watch and find out how the Rev Group builds those beautiful vans. All right, the first thing we notice even before the tour here at the Rev Group is this. They have Mercedes chassis, 2019 chassis, everywhere. Now, in the industry, this is kind of the Achilles heel for the industry. Uh, it's, it's decimated much of the Class B manufacturing business because they can't get the chassis. Amazon bought them all up and the chassis have been in really short supply. I have never seen so many Sprinter 2019 chassis anywhere in North America as we are seeing here at the Rev Group. We're going to have to find out what the secret to that is. You guys do not seem to have a problem getting Mercedes chassis. How is that? So we are buying up every chassis anybody wants right now. So that means anything I turn away from Winnebago, all these other companies, Amazon, we're buying every single one and then through Mercedes-Benz permission, getting them the options that we need them to have. Now, I'm looking back in the back lot there. Those are all those All, all Mercedes-Benz chassis right back there. The chassis comes in from Mercedes-Benz. This is its first stop at Midwest. Basically our mechanic shop. We make all of our cuts for all of our holes, air conditioning, changing the tires out, getting seat pedestals in, very important. Um, all your safety, real safety equipment is done first thing at Midwest before we even allow it to go into the assembly line. A lot of times we can figure out if the chassis is actually a limit, right here. Just the raw shell. So wait a minute, I, I know there's color here on this chassis. <laughs> well, you may have seen it on Amazon vans out there. Yeah. And that's because that is the color Amazon ordered their 20,000 Mercedes that way. You show me what you're doing with Amazon vans. Well, we, we paid a little bit more money than Amazon per the van. And that's why we are still running the way we are. Almost all of our competitors' lines for the Mercedes parts of them are shut down. We are still running strong. And right now, we probably have 64 2019s in production right now. So we have two lines here at Midwest Auto Design. We, our interior line is all of our business classes and day cruisers type products. Our far outside line, that is all of our RVs. Anything with a shower base is going to be right on the outside. And the reason why is we produce a lot more of these than we do of these. The RV game is secondary to us but we are growing at a substantial rate. RVs, business, yep. limos. You got it. Yeah. Personal uh, use limos. Personal use limos. Mm -hmm. I've always thought I needed one of those. <laughs> this sounds right. Yep. We don't sell any limos to really commercial type companies. You really won't see ours as party buses or anything like that. Hotel Which, limos. Exactly, it's not really us. Real estate people. Real estate people, yes. Um, your um, celebrities, your um, high-end business individuals that need to be taken around, kind of like in a weird jet. That's what these do. And there is a huge market for that. Really? We do about 17 total with the two lines each week. So nothing crazy, but 17 is still quite a bit. Um, on this RV line, 
we do roughly about six to seven, which means we're doing almost 10 of these a week. 10 of the, let's just call those celebrity movies. So it sounds good to me. <laughs> these are the RVs. Well, it's somewhat quiet here. Now, one thing that's very cool about us and gonna be different than any other manufacturer in this business is, this is our seat shop. We build all of our own seats in-house. This is even our pipings right here. So they're getting ready to do piping and stitch. That's, we build everything to match one another. We're not, uh, we don't buy a lot of stuff from assembly builders. So our suppliers, we're not trying to put stuff together. It's more like, hey, does that match that? And that's what we do. We build it for the project instead of look for something to match. Different shades, different colors, different mm -hmm. fabrics. Over here you see eight double needle stitching machines. These girls work tirelessly over time, everything, to make sure our seats look as beautiful as they are. <laughs> so we're making our famous diamond, diamond stitch pattern that we seem to like always use. Diamond stitch. Diamond stitch. Oh, the same individual, like we built one for Shaq, for instance, okay? Everybody knows who Shaq is. Um, the same seat that your Shaq's sitting in is the same seat you're gonna find in your RV. The same fabric, the same wood. So we truly do build a very kind of customized RV because we build everything here. Here's that diamond stitch that we saw going in. <laughs> and uh, here's another diamond stitch. Another. All right. Yep. These people right here are going underneath to basically check all of our hosing. Pat, I don't like that. Another diamond stitch sighting. How many, how many passengers is this will this hold? We have cruisers going from five all the way to ten passengers in our vehicle. Yeah, I wish Jennifer was here so you can see this. This is pretty cool. Look at all the room in it. Oh my gosh, look how luxurious this is. What? Hey! Wake oh. up! <laughs> I was just admiring it. You were just admiring it. I was trying to see how many people you could fit in here. <sighs> or sleep. True. You, you even have a diamond stitch on the roof. So this is where all of our beautiful wood is made, from our polished finish and our satin finish. There's a 16 step process to this, but I'll try to break it down just a little easier for you. What we do is we have the CNC machine make off our print. These gentlemen over here get down the first base layer, make a nice polished, or a nice smooth finish, all sanded down. Then we put a clear gloss on it, let that dry, and then we paint it with our backing which is either a brown or black, typically. We are working on some other colors. Um, and then over there is our dipping department. And that's where we put the film down to actually make it look like the nice wood grain that you see. All right, so here's my confusion. Mm -hmm. The Rev Group. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of different brand names. <laughs> yes, we How do. How do we need to keep track of them all? Well, um, for our RVs, we have the American Coach, which is the most popular, which is the American Coach Patriot. Then we have the Fleetwood IROC, which is a Dodge. That's new for us, but still beautiful in its own way. Um, we had the Midwest Legend, the Midwest Passage, the Midwest Weekender. These products are all very, very similar to almost identical as the American Coach and Fleetwood. So if I was to say it's kind of like GMC and GM and all those different brands, it's kind of the same. It's identical. So imagine one is a Tahoe from Chevrolet and one is a Yukon from GMC. You know it's the same thing with a different badge on it. How big has the Rev Group become in the last few years? I'm seeing well, you everywhere. Yeah, so currently right now, vans wise, uh, we have enough orders probably for this year to do 1,200. But with the chassis situation, we're still getting quite a bit, but not enough. We'll probably do just under 800 this year. Um, of that, we'll probably only do about 300 to 350 RVs. That means majority of everything we're doing, 400, 450 to 500, will be our personal use limos and cruisers. And those would be the celebrity mobiles. That's correct, the celebrity mobiles. <laughs> that are so much fun to go out and have fun with your uh, group of friends, 
night drinking or even a ball game for uh, your kids. Hey, I think they need an influencer mobile, don't you think? I don't you think, think we I need th our own influencer mobile? Yeah, I think Bo Yeah, we're, like we're you know, you think we need this for Bo? We'll, we'll try to work on that for you, Mike. <laughs> They do 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. They have a 3000 watt inverter. They also have the 12 volt air conditioner. It's a 20,000 BTU AC and it's 12 volt. It's the, the best AC on the market. So that's the Rev Group. Now you know how they're made. One company, a number of different brands and all of them high end. Very comfortable, very nice, and uh, you'd be proud to own one. So if you uh, do us a big favor before you go, Give us a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. We're Mike and Jennifer. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.